welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of We Juicy Couture. So this perfume launched this year, 2018, and I guess it's kind of like a new pillar for Juicy Couture. Um, it is definitely not a adaptation of the, like, Viva La Juicy line. It's definitely, it's kind of its own line with a whole new bottle. Um... But I, I'm really interested to see what Juicy Couture is going to do and, like, what they're going to continue with with this line, so. So, first things first, I would like to say, I'm from Iowa, and where I'm from, this is a word. So, it is so hard for me to pronounce this fragrance as we Juicy Couture and not oi, because where I'm from, this is a word, and this is a word that we use on the regular, so, like, it has been so hard to not say that this has been oi Juicy Couture the entire time that I've been doing everything with it. So, um, so the bottle looks like this this time. And I am in love with this bottle because it kind of reminds me of, like, nail polish bottles. Um, there's just something about the way that they painted this. And I know that, like, the way that they painted this has never been done before. Like, this is the first time it's been done. And I'm literally obsessed. Like... The colors are super vibrant, and they're super pretty, and, like, it just looks like two stacked nail polish bottles, and I'm in love, and it, it's just amazing to me. So, um, when I first heard the notes for this fragrance, I got super, super concerned, because I was thinking, like, oh my god, we're getting, like, very similar notes to kind of, like, that original Juicy Couture line, and I'm not here for that, because I'm not really a big fan of the more muskier or mature type fragrances, which is definitely kind of how those first Juicy Couture fragrances were. And I was definitely kind of nervous that this one was going to go there. And let me tell you guys, holy buckets. I have never gotten so many goddamn compliments that I have while wearing this fragrance. Um, wore this for a couple days, and, um, the first time, like, Went to the gas station, went to go put uh, gas in my car, and uh, had, you know, got some stuff while I was inside the gas station. And I was checking out with the cashier, and she's like, I'm sorry to ask you this, but what are you wearing? Like, and I know her, like, she works there a lot, like, that's kind of like the gas station I go to on normal. So I kind of know her from working, from her working there. Um, and I was like, oh no, I'm just wearing, like, and I had to think about it. And then I had to also not call it oi, because I almost did. But then I told her, I was like, it's weed, you should make it, you should do it. And she goes, it smells amazing. And I was like, thanks. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, it was kind of nice that I hadn't even left the house very long. I already got a compliment. And then I went out to my car and pumping with, I was pumping my gas. And this lady came up to me I uh, and was like, hey, I'm sorry to bother you, but I figured it was you. First off, my license plate say perfume, so it wasn't really that hard to figure it out. It was me, but... She goes, um, I figured it might be you, and I just, was that you that smelled like that in the store? And I was like, yeah, it was. And she goes, oh my god, you smell amazing. And I was like, well, thank you. Like, thanks. It's, and then I told her what it was and explained, and it was a whole whole nine yards. But that was like two compliments without even being at the house for very long. Um, and then I went to work and I got a couple different compliments from the girls at work. Um, and it was really kind of like a nice, like, oh, okay, like, I really kind of doubted this fragrance at first, and, like, I threw it on, and it was just like, okay, let's see how it is, and a lot of times when I review fragrances and when I'm testing them out, I'll just throw them on like I normally would, and, like, I don't really put much thought into it, and I just kind of throw them on, and then if I get complimented, then I'm like, oh, wait, that's what I'm wearing today. Like, a lot of times if I do something for a review and I don't get complimented on it, then I don't remember that I'm wearing it, and then I had to keep, like, telling myself to get it. And every now and again, I'll get a compliment, like, once or twice, but I have gotten so many with this one. And then, like, yesterday was the funniest one. We, like, had a staff meeting at my work, um, and one of the, like, owners was talking, and my manager, the, the other manager was sitting next to me, um, and she's like, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Because I was distracted because Alex smelled so good. And I was like, I'm sorry. And then he's like, look at us, you know, 
managers are distracting the employees. And I was like, don't even start. It's not even my fault. I'm sorry. It's just freaking perfume. I'm going to stop wearing it. So I'll stop distracting people. Because whole, like, seriously, like, ego boost in a bottle if you need it. Because this smells freaking amazing. So, notes for this fragrance. Top notes are watermelon, acai berry, tea, pear. Middle notes are jasmine, tuberose, and honeysuckle. With base notes of woody notes, amber, and musk. So, when I first smelled this fragrance, I really, like I said, I didn't really think much of it. But now that I smell it again, I really do, really, really like this fragrance. So, for a second, let's talk about how we apply our perfumes. Because, like... The, like, YouTube aficionado, whatever you want to call it, part of me is supposed to tell you that you're supposed to spray it on a wrist and dab them together. Never rub your wrists together because that's not a good thing. And, like, th that's, what, that's what I'm supposed to tell you. But in realistic, real, in reality, if I could say words right, um, th that's not how we apply our perfume. This, this is how we apply our perfume. Okay, so maybe I overdid it just a little bit, but I'm not completely wrong. That's not too far off from the truth. You know I'm right. So, this fragrance, when it first opens up, you definitely get a little bit of that kind of that juicy watermelon. And that kind of, you get the kind of the tea note, but it's more of like a berry tea. Like it is an acai berry tea. But like, it's not really, really super tea-y. Like green, it doesn't give you really a whole lot of like green notes to the fragrance. Um... But, the pear is probably the most standout note for this fragrance. And it really kind of makes it very subtle and very nice for the wearer. Because, I will say that, like, although, like, anybody who's within, like, up from, you know, like, this far from you, like, they can smell you. And, like, my husband said it was strong, but it wasn't, like, bad strong. He said it was, like, a good strong. And that, like... It and that was out a couple hours after wearing it, so like it lasts a really, really long time. It definitely is kind of a pear dominant fragrance. Those little fruity notes kind of do dissipate back a little bit, and you do get a little bit more of those floral notes from the heart kind of coming through. But it really is kind of just like a very light, airy, fruity floral fragrance. Definitely think it could be someone's signature fragrance and definitely could be worn any type of the year. I don't feel like it has like a super um, like seasonal scent to anything. If anything, I would say it'd be more spring and summer. Um, but definitely is kind of more that easygoing, lightweight, um, office friendly type of fragrance if you would. And like I said, it lasts a really, really long time. I get probably about six hours on my skin. I know that some people have had la other lasting issues with it, but I do notice that it kind of does get uh, very toned down and closer to the skin. Um, but to, like, the wear, like, you can't really smell it as much, but it's still giving off a good projection, and people can still smell it and still pick it up because it definitely does give the lasting power. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Juicy Couture's We. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, AVS Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks for thanks so much for watching. Bye.